Hey everyone. I thought it would be interesting to make soap bubbles that contain a pH indicating dye. The idea being that the uh, pH indicator starts off one color and then as the bubble uh, interacts with the gases in the environment it might change color. So I was imagining sort of filling a container like this with CO2 gas and then if the bubble starts out really red like this the indicator will change to yellow when it acidifies and when you uh, when the bubble would sort of dip down into the CO2 it would acidify and change color. Unfortunately uh, this didn't work out quite so well. I started just by taking some bubble solution here and adding about a half bottle of this phenol red. This is a, a pool indicator, pH indicator for pool supplies and it wasn't nearly concentrated enough. So then I kicked it up a notch. I emptied out a few of these into a beaker and boiled it down. This is uh, dissolved in water and after you boiling I had a fairly concentrated phenol red and I even made this little form-fitting container. Uh, the idea was that I could use the smallest amount of bubble solution possible and it would still fit the bubble wand in there. So there do exist commercial colored bubble solutions. Uh, I didn't see any in the toy store near me, but I have seen it for sale online. And it looks like most of the reviews are negative from uh, angry parents uh, who have now stained clothing and stained houses and stained driveways and such. So apparently you need a tremendous amount of colorant to make the bubble actually uh, not look clear or not look colored because of its thin film properties. One of my ideas was to have two gas jets next to each other, one blowing CO2 and another blowing ammonia. And that way the pH of the solution would change locally so you'd get kind of a multicolored bubble. Anyway, as I was experimenting with all of this, I noticed that plain old soap bubbles just made with the, the stock soap solution uh, would gradually lose their color as they became thinner and thinner. So if you just blow a bubble and manage to make it stay up in the air, uh, I was using a CO2 jet, just this CO2 tank, and I would kind of follow the bubble around with this to keep it up in the air. And after a minute or so, the bubble would become completely colorless right before it would pop, which was really cool looking. So I was trying to figure out a way I could get a bubble to hang in one spot in space so that I could film it so you guys could actually see the colors fade away. What I came up with was uh, the idea of adding a little bit of helium to a bubble. So I got this other toy from the toy store. It's basically um, a big bubble hoop that you dip down in bubble solution like this and then it's got a fan uh, with foam blades that fills the bubble up. So what I was thinking would work pretty well is to put a, a hose on my helium tank here and just kind of hold the hose uh, in the vicinity of where this fan is drawing in. And then to get a neutrally buoyant bubble, we could start to blow this up and then pop a little or blow a little bit of helium in there. So it takes quite a bit of practice, but I eventually got almost sort of the hang of it. So that bubble is a little bit heavier than air there, but it's pretty close. Anyway, so I'm going to continue trying to figure out a system where I can get a bubble to hang in air. Uh, I know you can support them on a tub of CO2, uh, but the trouble with that is that it's kind of sitting down in the tub and it's hard to see the bubble itself. It would be much nicer if the bubble was just floating in mid-air. So maybe adjusting the helium a little bit or using CO2 jets with feedback or something like that. But anyway, I'll uh, just leave you with some footage of the bubbles that I collected. See you next time. Bye.